Oh, and by the way, Jess says I've got to say a shout out to Aaron. So, hi, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, you know who you are. <laughs> I do take requests. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. guys and uh, this is uh, day three of our North Wales little few days away we're in Nantcol waterfalls just between um, Port Maddock, Harlick and uh, Tallybont so it's between Tallybont and Harlick more than anything Nantcol waterfalls been coming here for quite a few years um, nice little place uh, the waterfalls go up into the hills up there look so we're just gonna have a walk up the side of the river and up into the hills and around it takes probably just over an hour or so to walk around nice and steady so we'll have a wander around and uh, show you along the way see you in a minute some nice tents round uh, TV type tents I suppose I think they belong to the site then do down there is a uh, the waterfall comes down, two different runs down into it. Here's some people you might know. <laughs> so, uh, it's a good site this is. You can come here, you can camp here, or you can bring a motor homes here. Um, they have a, like a, a barbecue thing there, look, at night times. We've seen that before when we've been here. It's nice tucked away, not many people know about it. It's a lovely little place, especially when it's like this warm. We've been in that river, playing in the river. Probably known this place for the last five years, six years. So um, the kids have been here, they've been playing on that rope thing there by that tree, swinging out into the water. Looks like they've altered that a little bit. That, I see that swing there now that they've made a bed around, they? around the swing. Have you noticed? Just down there, because that used to be quite messy and dirty didn't it down there Jess so they've altered all that there you can have your you fell off a few times there haven't you <laughs> so yeah it's it's good barbecues picnics picnic tables as I say the campsite itself goes round all the way up there around here tents caravans and motorhomes are further up over the back we're parked just over there where well, you can come in and park and pay I think it was three pound for the day and you can then walk around the waterfalls. So yeah, I'll uh, take you around. And there you have it guys, over the back look. That's the site itself. Starts about there, goes over past there where all the tents are to the campers and camper vans and caravans. And back around to where we were parked. And the river comes up here, people having picnics and barbecues. Going up by the river. Isn't it lovely by the river? Just tranquil, listen to that water flowing. Oh, and by the way, Jess says I've got to say a shout out to Aaron. So, hi, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, you know who you are. I do take requests. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, this is where we have to go away now and up through the through that gap in the gates there and climb up that mountain side, which I'll show you in a minute. Because uh, that's changed a little bit. That's new by the looks of it. Because before you had to go over this ladder here, so that'd be better. We've got Gizzy with us. So that'd be better for Gizzy to go through there than up them steps up there. Look at that coming down through that gorge. So this is the, uh, the famous Nant Cold Waterfalls. I've seen people coming down there, sort of 
coming from that where the rocks are down on ropes and coming down here must be mad Giz you gotta climb that ladder mate <laughs> there's another gate now further round did you see it yeah we'll go that way so we'll carry on round and probably pick you up at the top of top of this up the top there catch in a bit so I'll quickly show you guys this is the old steps up so you got steps there look going from the bottom where we were just a minute ago down there comes all the way up here so it's quite steep and you've got to watch underfoot if you're not really good on your legs sort of thing and that's where it goes up there if you want the the hikers way but they are put a new run in actually must have done it since we were here last sort of August time which where then people are now zigzags from there round up here and up again so it's a lot better now to get to the top so yeah that's better <laughs> that's better for Gizzy as well right let's carry on the top Claire was just saying that she's still not going that way. Absolutely. It is quite high, it doesn't seem probably so steep. steep, so steep on the camera here, but it is. It was even more so when you had to come up all them little steps before. And this is basically coming right onto the top where it flattens out and follows the river around then. River's still down there. So yeah, we'll carry on. So here we are on the top. I suppose this is about the toppest elevation now, or the farthest it goes up. It's pretty well flat all the way round. And if we go round this bit now, and down to where the water falls. These are quite steep. <laughs> Gets rocky like this at this bit here, then it's just, you'll see in a bit, it flattens out then, it's just a pretty well nice walk then. Look at this coming down here. A few trees lodged in there, and they? It's come down. Then the waterfall's going down. Look at that. That's going at a fair old pace, that is down there. Isn't it? Yeah, here we are right down where it starts to cascade down to the bottom where you saw down the bottom. This boulder doesn't move, it's been here for a few thousand years, so I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Else I'm going down there. What a lovely sound, isn't it? Right, 
We'll make our way back up to where the girls are. Back up to the top of that waterfalls where it started. And this is more of the calming bit starts before it starts to go into the waterfalls itself. That lovely old tree. It is a peaceful place, this is. You can spend all day here, have a picnic down the bottom, and just chill out. Not many people know this is here or the location. I'll try and uh, drop a pin or something or a map halfway through this when I edit it. Put a map in with a pin on it so you can see where it is. Probably one idea, isn't it? Just wait for the slow coaches now. So as we glad gradually go round, it just calms down and it's nice. There's a big, big rock slab area in a bit, which I'll show you, which is amazing. So yeah, we'll carry round. There's another park just up from where I was, just by that big tree. As I say, it gets calmer and not so fast running as we further go up, up the, the river. A lovely location though, look at this, all open wild space. What we do in a bit, we go from the river and we start walking across, you know, the, the, this mountain top and then drop back down to the campsite. So we do go away from the river in a bit and go through some woods, which are there, they're nice as well, the old woods. I'll get the name of them when we're there. It's a bit tricky and rocky and boggy in some places for walking. So you just have to be a bit careful sometimes where you're walking, where you're footing. So yeah, we'll carry on. So this is the bit I was telling you about where it's like a slab of rock when the waterfalls come out cascading over it. Quite see it too much down a minute, but we'll be up there. There's a lot of people here today by the looks of it. Normally there's nobody about, it's dead. See what I mean about being boggy? You have to have the right shoes on, you need hiking shoes, that's for sure. But look at that. Isn't that ma magnificent and amazing? How are you getting on? It's alright. You haven't got wet feet yet. That's no good. They're not a bit dirty. Oh, I've got to be dirty in a minute. This. I've avoided the mud. I might not be able to avoid this summer. No, that's the trouble. But yeah, we're uh, carrying on up there. So guys, this is the main part of the waterfalls that I've always liked all the time I've come up here, which is this bit here now. Absolutely brilliant.
Yeah, we'll go round there. Bit of a climb up as you saw as we coming up there, all of us. But uh, all the fun of it. Right guys, we're gonna have to uh, go away from, there's too many people at the moment, I don't know, it's too much. So we're gonna carry on there where he flattens off, across the top here, on the moor here. And then we're gonna uh, drop down into the woods and then through the woods and back down to the site. So I'll catch you down by the woods. Guys, down in the woods area now. Just back end of the campsite. Not quiet, eh? Come round here, then back down into the woods itself. That's that style look there. Kira? How many times? Kira. <laughs> So yeah, here we are, that comes into the to the woods itself here now. Full of nature this one is, birds and wildlife. So yeah, here we are. The woodland walk. So I'll catch you down in the woods. Yeah. Now this is a, a walk through the woods is just as much as trying to get up by the rocks, by the waterfalls. Hello. Oh, there's some weird people about. <laughs> so yeah, this is a, a bit of a rocky walk as well. See what I mean? <laughs> You're gonna have to pick Gizzy up again here, yeah, guys. See what I mean, guys? It's very rocky, so you have to be very good on your feet to get through this lot. Steady, wait for Giz. Right, I'm gonna have to help here a minute. See you later. I'm gonna pick him up again. Steady. Come here, Giz. Come on, mate. Come on. Giz gets out. Why can't I? Okay, Giz. Giz is flying. <laughs> Giz, Bit of nature, eh, Giz? <laughs> she says, no, man. I don't like this. It's all wet, isn't it? Imagine this if it was really raining a lot. We have been through it, it's really raining a lot and mossy, and be very careful. You slip over and damage your ankle or more. Just be careful if you come. So, yeah, we'll carry on. I'll catch you down the bottom where I can concentrate for now. It's uprooted the lot, the root, the trunk, the roots a lot. Then you end up with that flare like that if you don't watch out. Could be we do make it they call them <laughs> so be careful what's about you be very vigilant and wary so yeah interesting walk isn't it hey guys this old ruins of a house here old stone building coming up in front of us campsites there now look so we're just back down to the bottom of the woods the back coming into the campsite so yeah this house all the time we've been coming here has been empty many many years by the looks of it be nice to get that and done that up wouldn't it obviously belongs to the woodland trust or woods or whoever owns the land it's been there some years i don't know I'm saying about that See where even the fireplace is. There, look, still. All fell apart and ruined there. 
but interesting. So yeah, we were at the end of our little adventure for today. Is he still loving it? Bless him. Bear grill. Yeah, bear grill. Grills gill. Grizz gills. Grizz gills. <laughs> no, Grizz. Gizzy. There you are. <laughs> Get it in the end. Get him. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. We're back to the campsite. So we're going to go through these styles here. Back into the camp field. And then a cup of tea in the van. Chill out for a minute. And there's Kira. What's wrong? Oh dear. You all right? <laughs> She'll live. Anyway, guys, till later. Oh, hey, one last thing, guys. They uh, got about these. They do glamping pods here. That'll be fun. A couple of them. That's, I think they sleep four today. Four. Four people they sleep, don't they? Two, sorry, two people. Electric, power, everything. So got a wood burner in. Book them. Let people in at the moment. That'll be fun, wouldn't it? Get the fire going, sit out, get a barbie going.